Chelsea uh, has roots in impact. Great. She comes back. But you know what? A big surprise on our pay-per-view too. And these invisible walls are coming down. I think, I think anytime when you're a wrestling fan, specifically when it's been watching a long time and you get that sweet spot, which I've heard in the locker room before the suspension of disbelief. Mm -hmm. When, when you get people to believe that, either one of these people can win and the stakes are high. And this is the first time someone's going to walk out of the ring and be the women's champion for the promotion. And, and then you get to that point where it felt like either one could win and you were, and you had one that you really wanted to win and you had one that you did not want to win, but you <laughs> believe that either one could it's that perfect. Everything came together. And I think that's what anyone wants in a tournament final. Cause you knew other matches were and other wrestlers were involved to get to this point. Uh, it was absolutely perfect. It's probably one of the best tournament finals I've seen in wrestling in years. Yeah. Uh, and it really, really paid off. It, 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 like if you followed it and you're with Ring of Honor, because you have a lot of choices, mm -hmm. they're delivering. You know, I like, and, and yeah. I, I think that's worth saying is you guys deliver on that. Let's talk about your next big event here. Now, we don't know if there's sure. going to be with live fans because obviously yeah. you guys are uh, very, very, uh, I, I love the idea that you guys wait to see how safe these things can be and then pull the trigger. ROH Final Battle will be on Fight TV and Honor Club worldwide December 11th. Uh, what can fans look forward to? I know we don't have anything big announced just yet. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. It's going to be tricky because Bandito on television is a couple title defenses. You know, at the end of the pay-per-view, at the end of Death Before Dishonor, we saw Jonathan Gresham and the Foundation come out, and we saw, you know, Brody King, Flamita. We saw everybody. You know, Shane Taylor wants a world title shot. The list goes on and on. But Alex Zane won one. So Brody King, or excuse me, Bandito will have a shot. Uh, Alexander will have a shot at Bandito. Brody King wants to get his hat back back in the ring. He just won that four corner survival match. I was getting ahead of myself there. He won the four corners on TV, so his hat is in the ring as well. Jonathan Gresham, longest reigning pure champion we've had. If you go by the date it was taped, and he obviously he's he's looking at that world title quite literally. You know, when we went off the air at Death Before Dishonor, he was quite literally looking at the title. So for me. Uh, I mean, I don't know. We always have a, a killer main event at Final Battle. Usually it's the Ring of Honor World Championship. I don't know if Bandito's going to make it there <laughs> because uh, the next couple of weeks of television, that's going to that's gonna determine who is the defending world champion at Final Battle. So Bandito, he's the most wanted champion. I'm hoping we see him there regardless, whether he's got the title or he doesn't have the title. I know the Ring of Honor Women's Division Championship is going to be defended. And same kind of thing for Roxy, right? I mean, I all the the 15 other competitors in the tournament including Vita von star who was who was disqualified <laughs> uh all of those people all those great athletes are going to be looking and now gunning for roxy uh and she's going to have to prove that the moment wasn't too big for her in the tournament and that the moments ahead aren't too big for her either so i know in the next couple of weeks and Ring of Honor Television, this isn't a spoiler. You're going to see a lot of Roxy, and you're going to see a lot of the folks that want to challenge her for the Ring of Honor Women's Championship. So it's an exciting time there. Uh, you know, and I got to imagine, you know, Shane Taylor, he's got to be frustrated coming out of the Four Corner Survival. Uh, he's looking for the world title. He's also looking for Kenny King. So, I, you know, over the next couple of weeks, it wouldn't surprise me if you see them butt some heads as well. And, you know, we haven't even heard from Vincent yet. We saw him. We saw him at Death Before Dishonor. and he came out when Bandito successfully defended the championship, didn't but say anything. didn't say a word. And that's the scariest part about Vincent. So will he cash in on his title shot before final battle? Will he try and cash it in for final battle? There's a lot of, you, you, you can know, see a champion who's literally defending the title every single week on television before a pay-per-view. Yeah, it, it's crazy. And that's, what's cool about ring of honor. And, you know, we have some, you know, we have some upcoming television that I'm aware of in the next couple of weeks, LSG, he'll get a shot at the pure championship against Josh Woods. That'll be Josh Woods first defense. I'm super stoked about that. Like I said, Alex Zane's going to get his shot against Bandito and kudos to Alex Zane. Uh, just a pro's pro, you know, he wrestled more matches in the three weeks <laughs> that he's been, you know, released from WWE than he did at WWE. And that includes a, a couple of matches in ring of honor that we're really excited. He's, he's got a great tag team match coming up as well against, uh, against the Briscoes, which is a lot of fun. So, you know, in the next couple of weeks, you're going to see all these great athletes and we just can't wait. And the fun thing is you never know who's going to show up in ring of honor. That know? leads me to my next question. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you jumped, you jumped right on it. There is a very big free market uh, in terms of televised 
names that people know on a national international scale that have hit the open market in terms of wrestling promotions. They're out there. You're calling yeah. this action. You're in that locker room. Who do you want to see? Who are you hoping <laughs> you get to see? What is that feeling like in the locker when people find out like, whoa, they're coming like yeah. that. that yeah. And I've heard, I've heard that. Whoa, they're coming conversation. Yeah. <laughs> what is the sentiment right now with all of that? Maybe you know something you can't say. I completely understand. Yeah. I'll say keep your eyes out. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And the the thing the thing that I like the most is I'm taken care of. Ring of Honor takes care of me. They paid the full salary through the pandemic. I you know I was getting a check almost no matter what happened. And they're actually they were actually under no obligation to do that. You know I don't want to get too granular, but. They could have paused my contract. They could have canceled it. They could have done a number of things that were within their right. And for a lot of the other wrestlers too. So, you know, for the, a lot of the other team, you know, parts of the team. So extremely, for, it's extremely admirable of a company to do that. Right. And so for me, I, you know, I got mine and I don't, you know, this, this era is really cool because, you know, I'll use homicide for an example. He was just a tag team champion in ring of honor, but we just saw him on AEW and we know we're going to see more of him in Ring of Honor. You know, he's he's still part of the team, but he's not exclusive. And everybody's kind of getting a little bit of homicide. And the same thing could be said for, you know, someone like Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green, big star, NWA, Impact, Ring of Honor, you name it. Just about everywhere except for WWE. And so I love the fact that not only, you know, am I taken care of, but I know my friends are getting taken care of too. And these invisible boundaries and these kind of petty squabbles are seemingly kind of going by the wayside and it's essentially yeah homicide's not exclusive go ahead have an amazing moment you know have an amazing moment in new york or uh you know someone like chelsea green you know chelsea uh has roots in impact great she comes back but you know what big surprise on our pay-per-view too and these invisible walls are coming down and so for me i love it because my friends are getting paid they're getting paid good money to show up in different places and they might not be exclusive but that's okay because sometimes if you, you know, if you're a guy like Dan Housen, for instance, who you could, the only place on TV, you can see him is Ring of Honor. You can still see him on Independence and he cleans up and makes a lot of money. <laughs> yes, very nice, does. very evil, <laughs> sacks of money. Yes. So money housing. I, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, just from a practical standpoint, so many people are hurting in one way or the other because of the pandemic. But what I've seen with wrestling is this rallying of, yeah, there's, there's no more walls anymore. There's, there's only doors and they're unlocked. And if you want to go out and make money and you're not exclusive to someone, please go for it. And what's, what's a door that you want to see unlocked that's still locked? In ooh. <laughs> I, ooh, man, that's a great question. Maybe I don't mean that to be challenging. People yeah. talk about these forbidden doors and now they're open, but there's still some that are there. I'm going to go with an off the beaten path one. I think ring of honor has a, has a good relationship with everybody. And you know, those doors are open and I, I think there might be some light and some some doors that were closed before, you know, cracks of light. But I'd like to see AAA, CMLL finally just have some sort of truce. And Between each other. You're, you're yeah. talking about other promotions. You don't even. You're not, you're yeah, not even okay. because the scene in Mexico right now is so exciting. I mean, Bandito just did an event with his gym, Bandito's gym for Big Lucha. And there were so many talented Lucha doors that I never seen before, including his brother, whose name is Gravity. And Gravity did this crazy move off the balcony, and he was really awesome in the Battle Royal, and just talent after talent. And if you look at a lineup of The Crash, or if you look at a lineup of Big Lucha at Bandito's Gym, or or anything like that, you'll see these interpromotional dream matches. You know, you'll see guys from AAA, you'll see guys from uh, CMLL, you'll see guys from Ring of Honor, from And AEW. there's certainly a desire of it with fans to see Oh, we, we get to see New Japan guys on international yeah. television. And oh. I remember that was always best of the world. It was always mm -hmm. super exciting. I remember going to um, that a few years ago when Ring of Honor and New Japan had this huge tag team match. And I was like, I could see Tanahashi and Okada in, right. in a gym four miles away from where I grew up. I was like, it's, and mind you, a beautiful arena gym, but I was still like, like sure. this is incredible. <laughs> like, yeah. So those are special moments, right? They are. And you know what? I think, you know, those of those of us who've been with Ring of Honor um, during the pandemic, I think we've grown a greater appreciation for some of those moments because obviously the, the scenarios and situations we've been in because of the pandemic, uh, we aren't able to participate in some of that. And so I think moving forward, I think there's some excitement. I think now that some of those those 
that light and the cracks of the doors. Um, you know, Ring of Honor and Impact have have had a, a rocky go, whether yeah. it's 2004, 2006, 2009, <laughs> you know, but wouldn't it be cool if Chelsea was the first person, you know, if she wasn't the last person, if she was the first person uh, who was featured on television, you know, we've had a couple guys and gals who have been um, maybe not featured appear on both, uh, but we've never had a featured act be supported by both companies really until Chelsea, you know, at least not, not that I can remember maybe since 2004 before the great schism. So, I mean, it would be, it'd be really neat, you know, to have, Ring of Honor Impact or Ring of Honor and NWA. Things are still good with Ring of Honor and NWA. Um, you know, we're going to have, it's no secret, AK-47, Allison K, Marty Bell, the women's tag team champs. You know, they're a part of our universe as well. They were in the tournament and they will continue to be a part of our universe for as long as they, they choose to be and as long as they'd like to be. And so, you know, I think for us, um, I think the COVID restrictions are the only thing slowing us down right now. And I'm willing to make that trade for safety because, you know, yeah. hopefully it makes wrestling fans, you know, as long as we can stay in the minds of wrestling fans, it'll be that much more exciting when we jump in the pool too. And when we, you know, when you start to see some of the more exciting stuff. So I think the the big answer is is finally maybe a, a peace peace agreement between AAA and CMLL. <laughs> but, you know, it, it'd be cool you're to gonna see. Be, you're going to be at the table. Everyone's yeah. going to sign the peace accord. Yeah. <laughs> the, the international, the international summit of wrestling peace. <laughs> My Spanish isn't that good, but maybe dragon <laughs> can help. Maybe, you know, he's help, he's helping me. He's, he's got me hooked on Duolingo. I'm, I'm trying, uh, but you know, it'd be cool to see all Japan, you know, all Japan's on the come up again. Um, Noah, you know, Noah's fighting and clawing back as well. So ring of honor been partners with Noah before, you know, who says that, you know, they might not get involved again. Same thing. All Japan. It'd be cool to see these companies at that level get involved. And you know, GCW is one of the hottest things going. You know, who's to say they don't have an ace up their sleeve too? And you know, maybe they get involved with somebody. Whether it's uh, Impact, Ring of Honor, AEW. You know, you that's the cool part right now. You never know where someone's going to show up. Absolutely. Ring of Honor on Fight TV December 11th and Honor Club as well. You can go to ROHWrestling.com backslash watch to catch full episodes free no matter where you are. Of course, you can check your local listings as well on a Sinclair Broadcasting Group channel syndicated across the country. You don't have an excuse not to watch <laughs> Ring of Honor. All right, you can watch it for free. It's available every single week. All right, they got new episodes every single week. I don't and, like this show on Monday, or I don't like that. Show. You got Ring of Honor. All right, you yeah. have options. You have options. And we got the we got we're on Plex, best in the world, twenty four seven. You could watch it all day <laughs> yeah, on Roku. So you have, yeah. you have tons of options to ch catch the channel. Uh, of course, your podcast with the great Kerry Silk and a man who uh, got Ring of Honor going, and just an absolute fantastic guy who has tons of stories. I've, I've oh, never yeah. just amazing. <laughs> stories about a live entertainment across the board that go well beyond wrestling and what it's like to sell tickets to huge arena events in the largest media market in the world and all this crazy <laughs> stuff last stop penn station uh the podcast is available as well uh thank you so much for the time we'd we'll love to talk with you again maybe we get to talk again uh, before we get to december 11th with final battle ring of honor it's great wrestling. Go watch it. We're watching wrestling because we enjoy wrestling, everybody. This is Sports Key Wrestling. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to our channels wherever you get our content.